Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech reviewer, back with another video today. Today's video, I'm going to try to have a little bit of fun, do something different, hopefully it comes out good, I don't know, and I'm driving in the beast, the Miss, Mrs. Three, Chrysler 300, just call me Mr. 300 I guess, but yeah, she's a beast, look. she just sounds so beasty, but... That video, this video is not about that. I want to do a YouTube rewind for my own channel. More like a tech rewind. Just go over some products that I had on the channel, some things I reviewed, maybe some upgrades I did on the channel, and maybe mention some other person's uh, video. You know, he, he did, what, 148 million views on one video, which is amazing. So, hopefully it comes out good. I'm going to try to go over every phone that I reviewed on my channel this year. I think I did about 10 of them, which, if you think about it, the first year I was on YouTube, I think I did 30 phones. I was trying to keep up with, like, Easy and Jay Will, and, and I was reviewing everything. Well, I learned through the first year, yeah, <laughs> that doesn't work. You want to review the phones that you want. So, let's get into it. If y'all like this video... Definitely subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you hit that like button. I think I said that at the beginning now instead of the end. I don't know, but let's go ahead. The first phone I reviewed on my channel was the Motorola Ace 5G. I know, say that five times really fast. The only thing I wrote about that one, it was the Silver Monster. It was a pretty big phone. It was my mo first Motorola phone of 2021. I did review some other ones, believe it or not. It was okay. It was a basic phone, Motorola style. It had the Motorola gestures on there. It wasn't bad. It was a decent phone. It was, hey, it was the beginning of the year. I think I reviewed this in January. And I think they came out with like three different phones at that time. Three or four different types of phones at that time. So, yeah, it wasn't too bad. The, other, the next phone, believe it or not, was the Motorola G Stylus 2021. That phone had, what, a fingerprint scanner on the side. It had the uh, stylus, which was okay. The software could be better. The thing with that phone, what I remember about that phone was the 2020 was just a better version of it, to believe it or not. It had, like, the dual speakers, and it had better cameras on there. So, a lot of people were saying that the 2020 just was a better version of the 2021 now will they come out with 2022 i guess we will find out in the next couple of months but it wasn't overall it wasn't a bad phone then after that was the beast the galaxy s21 ultra can i say what can i say about that phone it's a beast some people had overheating issues but for me i didn't have any overheating issues except for i mean if it's 100 degree weather, I'm trying to do 4K at 60. Yeah, it might, it, the cameras might run into some overheating issues. But for the most part, it was a beast. The back was great. The cameras, battery life was really good on that phone as far as I can remember. I still actually have it. I do use it once in a while. After that, the OnePlus 9 Pro was the next phone that I had. Believe it or not... I didn't even do an unboxing video. It just was a bland phone when it first came out. Nobody really was talking about it. It was just there, to be honest. It was just there. Not that big of a uh, deal. But believe it or not, I'm going to say right now, that phone, after using it for a while, actually was a beast itself. It was up there with the S21 Ultra. And it might be one of the most underrated or yeah underrated phones of 2021 i might do a video on that y'all stay tuned after that i did the one plus nord 200 that was just a budget phone y'all look at the blue right there it's just budget phone yes it has some speakers and stuff but it was just a budget phone to be honest it's not it wasn't like the greatest phone ever it wasn't the worst phone ever i think i got i got it for free I think I had to add a line or something or do some type of thing. But the phone was free. It wasn't a bad phone after, 
overall. The next phone that I reviewed on my channel, I still have it. Shout out to Team Pixel. Hashtag gift from Google. Hashtag Team Pixel. It was a Pixel 5a. That phone and it had that matte finish on there. The only question I have about that phone wasn't necessary at the time. The Pixel 6 came out a couple, what, a month or two months later. Where does that fit up in the Pixel 5, I mean the Pixel lineup? That's the only question I have about that phone. After that was the beast of the beast. The S21 Ultra was the beast. The next phone that I'm going to talk about, the Galaxy Note, I mean the, the Galaxy Z Fold 3. That phone is just a beast. Multitasking on it is great. Going through everything is great on their phone. The flip, oh man, you just can hear the flip. I mean, just when you flip it open, the excitement that y'all can hear on my voice when I actually get that phone is just amazing. It really is. It's just a great phone at that time. Let's fold this bad boy. Oh. Oh, look at that. What else can I say about the Z Fold 3 except for it's a great phone. If you can get it, once you go to the Fold Life, I it's hard to go back to the slab. Is I use the Fold every day. When I get home, sometimes I just open it up. I'm tired of looking at the Pixel. I grab the Fold. I have the big screen on there. It's a beautiful thing. Next on the channel, I reviewed and unboxed the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. The thing I can say about that phone, I still struggle with the battery life. The battery life almost makes me want to throw it away. Or sell it for a hundred bucks, even though I paid a couple hundred for it. Battery life on that thing is horrible. I don't know. Other people say the battery life improves for them, but for me, not at all. Battery life is horrible on that thing. Then... See, we're getting to the end of the year. The Pixel 6 Pro was next. Again, shout out to Google. Get from Google there. Hashtag Team Pixel. Where, what can we say about the Pixel 6 Pro? It probably will be a lot of people's phone of the year. That's what I'm going to say about it. The hype was real. The hype was, I mean, hype was hype. It was there. And I think the Pixel 6 Pro did live up to the hype as far as i believe so i think everybody likes it i know some people complain about the battery life that's a hit and mix with me to be honest some days i have great battery life some days it's like i'm charging it halfway through the day but overall the pixel 6 pro great device now the last phone i reviewed because i wanted to try out both of them was the pixel 6 and that phone which i might do another video on that phone has value. $599 when it came out. It has all the benefits and features, I say benefits, features of the Pixel 6 Pro. Great display, battery life is good, cameras are great on there. Everything about the Pixel 6 is a great phone. Now, this video, what, is about eight or nine minutes long already. I don't want to make it too much longer, but that was my recap of my tech YouTube life in 2021. I can't wait to see what 2022 brings. Yes, I upgraded my camera. I forgot to even mention that. I upgraded my camera that I film on. I don't use phones anymore. I actually use the, what, the Sony ZV-1. So I'm excited to see it. Also, shout out to Mr. Beast for making the Squid Games on YouTube. I know he got a lot of heat about it and copying this and that. That man has over 148 million views on one video. I don't think I ever get that many views on all my videos for my lifetime on my YouTube channel. So, shout out to Mr. Beast for making that. I think that would be in everybody's rewind if everybody did a rewind, a YouTube rewind. So, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. I'm excited for 2022. I know I said tech was boring in 2021. It kind of got stagnant. Hopefully I can pick up some more imports this year. I am probably will do the Galaxy Z Fold 4. I'm excited about the S22 Ultra to see what it brings. Man, I hope LG will come back. 
LG should make a comeback. I know they hired somebody in the electronic department, so maybe he will bring the mobile department back, but only time will tell. But if y'all like this video, give me a thumbs up on it. I don't know. I might be doing these type of videos more and more. It's definitely something I can do next year, too. It was kind of fun to do. But y'all let me know. Also, also let me know what other videos y'all want to see from me in 2022. And definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos coming up. That's construction all over. Y'all let me know how this video was because this is the Pixel 6 Pro in 4K at 30. So y'all let me know how this looks and how do I sound too because it's all done with the Pixel 6 Pro. No, no, stand, uh, no external mic or anything. So y'all let me know. Also, if you haven't followed me on Twitter yet, make sure you do so for more coverage and also different things I post on Twitter. And until next time, y'all, I'm out. Peace. Y'all have a great 2022 coming up too. Peace.